Uh, in this video session, we shall look at a, a transpose of matrices. Then we shall uh, add to our collection on the types of matrices. Uh, because after discussing transpose of matrices, we shall also find more types of matrices that we shall add to our collection. And then we will solve some calculations involving transpose of matrices. Now, uh, remember uh, in, uh, uh, in the first video on matrices, matrices part one, when we talked about introduction and concept of matrices, uh, we said that we have so many types of matrices. And as we go along, as we go ahead, we will find more types as we discuss uh, some more concepts. We will find more types. So, um, we shall add to those collection uh, in, after viewing this video. Uh, please, it is highly recommended, it is very, very recommended that you view these videos in order. Okay, it is highly recommended that you view these videos in order so that you can have a good understanding of the topic. Okay, so we look at a transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. Transpose of a matrix. Uh, say A, say matrix A, say matrix A, okay, number one is denoted by A superscript T or A exponent uppercase T, A exponent T, okay, and is a read as a A transpose, you know, kind of read as Read as A transpose. Read as A transpose. A transpose. Or you can just say transpose of A. Okay? Uh, number two, uh, it is a matrix formed by uh, interchanging the rows and columns of A, of matrix A. Uh, it is a matrix. formed by interchanging interchanging the rows and columns of matrix A the rows and columns of matrix A uh, what do we mean by this? What we mean by this is uh, the rows of matrix A will be the columns of matrix A transpose. Uh, and the columns of matrix A will be the rows of matrix A transpose. Uh, this means this means that uh, rows of A rows of matrix A Okay, rows of matrix A will be equal to the columns, columns of A transpose, and also the columns of matrix A. Some sometimes we write columns as C O L S, columns, columns, the short form. Columns of A will be the rows of A transpose. Okay. Now. Uh, the third one, the third thing about transpose is this: uh, when you uh, when you have the size of A, okay, let's say you have uh, A to be a two by three matrix, then the transpose will not be a three by two matrix, okay? Uh, if A is three by three, the transpose will still be a three by three. The thing is, uh, the size of the transpose is now 
uh, is a column of A by row of A. Okay, that's the size of A transpose. Uh, size of size of A transpose will now be is uh, columns. I'll just I can put just if I put call columns it means calls calls of A by rows of A. You know. That's the size of A transpose. No. Now, size is still row by column. But in this case now, the, just while looking at it based on A, and then A transpose. So, this is what you, we know about transpose. You just interchange uh, rows and columns of A. Assuming A is a, assuming A is a, A11, A12, A21, A22, then A transpose will be, okay, will be A11, A21, and then A12, A22. That means your rows becomes your columns, and your columns becomes your rows. Yeah. Uh, here is 2 by 2, A is 2 by 2 matrix, and then A transpose is 2 by 2 matrix. Now, assuming A is a, uh, assuming B, is a 2 by 3, 2 rows and 3 columns, maybe 2, negative 1, uh, 5, 7, 2, 4. Okay? This is a 2 by 3. Then B transpose, B transpose will now be, uh, will now be 3 by 2. That is what I mean by this. Okay? So B transpose will now be 2, 7, Negative 1, 2, 5, 4. And that will now be 3 by 2. So transpose means interchange the rows and columns of the main matrix. That is what the transpose means. Okay, uh, now, uh, on, uh, on my right, uh, uh, well, before we start solving calculations, uh, let's see. Uh, other types of matrices that we have. So, the, uh, another type of matrix that we have is what we call a symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix. Uh, what is a symmetric matrix? So you add to those collection that we had initially. Uh, a symmetric matrix is a matrix in which the uh, the matrix is equal to the transpose. Okay, uh, it is a matrix. Is a matrix. Of course, because is a because the uh, the matrix will be equal to the transpose. That means. Uh, uh, it will be a square matrix, okay? Uh, in which uh, the matrix is equal to its transpose, is equal to its transpose. So what I mean is this: that the uh, A matrix A will be equal to A transpose. Okay. Now, before you, before this condition can be satisfied, you know, it will, it must be a square matrix because if it is not a square matrix, right, then it can't be equal to that. So, for this to work, the symmetric matrix should be a square matrix. For it to work, it should be a square matrix. Uh, see what I see. See, see examples of uh, symmetric matrices. Uh, if we have this one, uh, we have if we, we can have a two one, and the the, the the kind the way to write in this is kind of the way to write in symmetric matrices. You have to really be careful, like the way you write it. Uh, two one here, and then I just put one here, okay? Because this will be my two one, and then this can be four. Okay, so two, one, one, four. 
This is a symmetric matrix. This is a symmetric two by two symmetric matrix. Okay? Because if you if you find the transpose, it will still be two one one four. If you find uh, assuming this is A, then the A transpose still will be uh, two one one four. You know, like uh, one thing with symmetric matrix is once you write the two one here, then this must be one. So it's kind of you have you have to find develop that scale in writing it. And this is a two by two symmetric matrix. Now let's look at the three by three. Okay, and if we want to write three by three symmetric matrix, let's use B this time B to B. Uh, if we write a one five negative 3 okay that means we wrote 5 here that means 5 will be here are you with me and then negative 3 will be here and then you close this you have to kind of look at it when you write it that is the way to write it you write the column first and then you write the row the same thing okay or you write the row first and you write the column but I prefer I prefer writing the uh, the uh, column first and then I repeat the same thing on the row then here uh, you know it could be 5 uh, 2 and once you put 2 here that means that uh, um, you can put 2 uh, negative 4 ok and if you do that that means that 1, 5, 3, uh, 5, 2, negative 4, okay, that means that uh, negative 4 will be here, and then 5, 2, negative 4, and then negative 3, negative 4, maybe 6. So look at this now, uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a symmetric matrix. Because the B transpose will be, we have the B transpose, it will be 1, 5, negative 3, then 5, 2, negative 4, then negative 3, negative 4, 6. See, it's the same thing. Yeah. So it takes some like a skill to write, write your symmetric matrix. Uh, but just know that number one, for symmetric matrices, uh, it must be a square matrix because this is 2 by 2, 2 by 2 here, this is 2 by 2, and this is 2 by 2, and then uh, this is a 3 by 3 size, and this is 3 by 3 size. Uh, and uh, you just, it takes skills in writing, you know, kind of writing it to make sure that uh, it corresponds. Okay, that is number one type. Uh, that's one of them. Now the next one we will look at is a skew, skew symmetric matrix. Skew symmetric matrix. Uh, skew symmetric matrix. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, this is a matrix. Is a matrix. It is a matrix. Uh, in which uh, the matrix is the negative of the transpose, okay? Uh, in which the matrix is equal to the negative, the negative of its transpose, negative of its transpose. Two symmetric matrix. So, um, what does this say? Uh, if you have a, a a equal to negative a t, a t. Okay. Now, this one takes skills also in uh, writing it. Um, it takes skills in writing it. Um, for the first of all, just like symmetric matrix, the, it must be a square matrix. So that the sizes will be the same. And the next thing you have to consider is that uh, 
it, it, it must satisfy this condition, and for it to satisfy this condition, uh, zeros will be in the uh, principal diagonal. Okay, zeros are going to be in the principal, is, uh, will always be in the principal diagonal. See what I mean here, see what I mean. Uh, you know, in this case, assuming you have uh, A to B, let's, let's begin with 2 by 2 matrix. A11, A12, A21, A22. Now, A transpose will be A11, A21, A12, A22. And then negative A transpose. Negative A transpose will now be negative A11, negative A21, negative A12, and then negative A22. Okay, guess what now? Mm -hmm. uh, this will be equal to this. The negatives will be equal to negative. It, it, now, this is like saying that A11 should be equal to negative A11. Uh, A12 should be equal to negative A21. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, A21 should be equal to negative A12. And then A22 should be equal to negative A22. So look at this now. Look at, I want to show you something. Look at uh, this and this. The principal diagonal elements. Elements, elements along the principal diagonal. If you look at those, tell me a number in which the, the, the value, the positive value of that number is equal to the negative value of that number. It is only zero. Zero does not even have positive or negative. But for this to be satisfied, you see that this A11, A22 must be equal to the negative of that. That means it must be zero. So for skew symmetric matrix, the principal diagonal elements must be zero. It can't be any other number. If you put y, y is not equal to negative one. That would be contradiction. If you put two, two is not equal to negative two. That would be contradiction. So the only number that will satisfy the principal diagonal elements for a skew symmetric matrix is zero. Now the rest you can go, you can uh, uh, do that and it will work. So let us go ahead and give examples of a skew symmetric matrix. Then we can now solve problems. You can now solve some questions. So. Uh, uh, example of a 2x2 two two symmetric matrix, you can have a, a to B, uh, of course this will be 0 and 0, uh, this can be uh, 1 and this will be negative 1, okay? Uh, this can be 1 and this will be negative 1, yeah. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, let's see whether it's a skew symmetric matrix, uh, A transpose, will be uh, 0, 1, uh, negative 1, 0, and then a negative A transpose will be uh, 0, uh, 0, negative 1, 1, and uh, 0. So you see, this gives you that negative A transpose is equal to A. So this is a, uh, this is a, a skew symmetric matrix, please. skew symmetric matrix. Two by two skew symmetric matrix. Two by two skew symmetric matrix. Okay. Um, now let's give. Let, uh, let's do that. Of three by three. Uh, if you want three by three skew symmetric matrix, you first of all you put the diagonal elements must be zero. Okay. Uh, then. Uh, uh, there's a way, there's a technique you use for this, okay? You will know that uh, uh, A11, A12, A12 and A21 should be, uh, you know, should be, uh, one should be opposite. If this is minus 2, then this should be 2. And uh, then uh, A13, A13 and A31, if this is a 5, then this should be negative 5. Okay, then uh, a two 
two, then a two three and a three two, a three two and a three two. If this is a four, this should be negative four. Okay, uh, this is a this is a skew symmetric matrix, three by three skew symmetric matrix. That is how you write it, three by three skew symmetric matrix. And we can test it. Let's see whether we are right. Okay, let's see whether we are right. If we if we let's erase this so we can have more space. If we uh, if we take the transpose, a transpose, that will give us a uh, zero, two, negative five, negative two, zero, negative four, then five, four, zero, then uh, uh, negative a transpose will be uh, zero, negative two, five, uh, two, zero, four, negative five, negative four, zero. Yeah, that's the same thing. So, so this is a skew symmetric matrix. All right, folks. Uh, let's. I hope you understand it. Symmetric and skew symmetric. Uh, let us now uh, solve these problems on transpose. Uh, this is kind of proof. It's not difficult. Uh, uh, we will go through it together. So, uh, you have a question one, you have a, that a P is a 2 by 2 matrix, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 1, and the Q is a 2 by 2 matrix, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2. So, uh, this is the question. Let's try this, the size, 2 by 2, and this is 2 by 2. Okay. Uh, yes, let me write this by the, you know, let me kind of write this by, by the corner, by, by the corner. I prefer that because we will have to do with multiplication later on. Uh, this is a 3, negative 4 by row, 2, negative 2. Okay. Now, uh, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay? Now, uh, A, they say find A is find PT, P transpose. So P transpose will be 1, negative 2, 3, negative 1. That's it. Then B, uh, show that, show that the transpose of P transpose is P. Okay, now when you have, and, and, and I'll, I'll be doing the show that here, I'll be doing it here. When you have a proof, when you have a, uh, you have a show that or prove that, okay, that's, there are steps to solve it. Yeah. One thing with proofs is this you can start from the left hand side and get to the right hand side. You can start from the right hand side and get to the left hand side or you can start from the left hand side, begin to solve it, solve it, solve it, come to somewhere. Uh, in case if you don't, if you start from the left hand side and you don't get to the right hand side, then you stop at somewhere, okay? Then you, be, you also start from the right hand side and solve and solve and solve and solve. If you can get to that place, you also stopped at the left hand side, then you have proved it, you're correct. So I repeat, when you are doing uh, questions that require show that or prove that, prove that. Uh, and this applies to any course, even trigonometry. I know in, uh, in trigonometry you have a lot of proofs. In geometry too, you have proofs. Now, uh, you can do it three ways. You can start from the left and keep solving, 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 get to the right. That means you've proved it. Or you can start from the right, solve, 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 get to the left. That means you've proved it. Or sometimes you will start from the left 
and you will not get to the right. Okay? Now, this is not an issue of uh, Democrats and Republicans. You know, they're not going to get to anywhere. You know, these people are saying, oh, they, are, they always are loggerheads. Always are loggerheads. So that is, I'm not talking politics. I am talking mathematics. So you can start from the left. And in this case, you don't get to the right. Okay? You solve, 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 get one place. Then you start from the right, solve, 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 get one place. And then if they are the same, then you know you have proved it. That is very rare in Congress, whereby the left start from somewhere and they are solve, make, they make concessions, make concessions, make concessions, get one place. The right make concessions, 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 get one place. It is very rare, you know that? It's very rare in Congress. And the, 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 the sad thing about this is we teach our students in the university work ethics. One of the work ethics skills is teamwork and collaboration. That is the principle of work ethics and it's lacking in Congress. So that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. Let's get back to mathematics. Uh, in mathematics, you have to uh, it has, you have to make uh, show examples in various fields. You know, so I just showed you examples in uh, politics. Okay, back to business here. Uh, usually, there are steps to do this. There are steps to do it. Uh, you write a given first. You write given. What are you giving? You are giving matrix P one negative two. 3, negative 1, and then, excuse me, you are giving a uh, matrix Q, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2. Okay, given. Now, to show, to show, okay, that P, the transpose of the, tra transpose of the transpose of P is equal to P. And then the next step is write proof. You want to write your proof. So that's the steps. So in this case, if you look at it, uh, it's very straightforward. We have to start from the left and get to the right in this case. Okay? We better start from the left and get to the right in this case. So we have from left hand side, from the left hand side, right? We have a uh, we, do, we have already have the P transpose, so our, uh, uh, our P transpose first, we had a 1, 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then we, have, we now do the transpose of that transpose, and that will give us 1, 3, negative 2, negative 1, okay, and this is equal to our P, and this is equal to our right hand side, our right hand side, so. Proved, we've proved it. We've proved, we've proved it right away. Okay, the next one, uh, the C part, the C part says, uh, show that, show that P plus Q, transpose of P plus Q is equal to P transpose plus Q transpose. Okay. Uh, look at this now, this case now, transpose of this, is equal to this plus this. So how do we, how do we uh, do this? So I erase this. Um, to show that P plus Q, uh, all transpose will be P transpose plus Q transpose. So, uh, here, how do we do this? Is you know this? How do we get this? What we need to do is we. This is a case whereby we start from the left, get one place, okay. We start from the right, get one place, and both of them are equal. That means we've proved it. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of solve this here. Let's find our p plus q transpose here, and uh, find our Let's do our kind of, let's do our work here and we will 
reserve this for just writing out this. Uh, this is what I mean here. Okay, let's first of all, from the left hand side, from left hand side, let's come to something. Uh, P plus Q, all transpose, what do we have? So first of all, we have here P plus Q, we do the parenthesis first. P plus Q will be, uh, of course, this is 2 by 2, 2 by 2. Let me write it here, 2 by 2, 2 by 2. So it is conformable for addition. And uh, this will be 1 plus 3, uh, 3 minus 4, 3 plus minus 4, 3 plus minus 4, uh, minus 2 plus 2, minus 1 plus minus 2. So this will now be 4, 3 minus 4, 0, minus 1 minus 2. Okay? And this will be uh, 4, minus 1, 0, minus 3. Now let's, we have found P plus Q. So now let's do P plus Q uh, transpose. And that will give us what? 4, 0, minus 1, minus 3. So we have 4, 0, minus 1, minus 3 by rho. And this is going to be like our rough work, like, uh, where our main work is, okay? Uh, it's because of space that I have to do this. Alright, we have done this one. So the next thing we do is from right hand side. We have from right hand side, uh, we find P transpose plus Q transpose. So let's solve it and see what we will get. Um, so remember, you have left hand side and then from right hand side. That is a situation whereby the left will make concessions, the right will make concessions, they meet at one point, they agree, and move this country forward. Rather than argue and argue and argue. Back to business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right. So, uh, P transpose will be. Um, uh, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 1, okay, and then Q transpose will be uh, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2. Now, they are 2 by 2, 2 by 2, so it works, it can work. So, Q transpose plus Q transpose will be uh, 1 plus 3, uh, negative 2 plus 2, uh, 3 plus minus 4, minus 1 plus minus 2. And that will give you what? 1 plus 3 is 4, negative 2 plus 3 is 0. 3 plus minus 4 is 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. Minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3. So we see that this is... Uh, 4 minus 1, 0 minus 3. So you see, since left hand side, you just write left hand side is equal to right hand side. Proved. It's proved. It's proved. Okay? Now we still have two more questions here. We still have two more questions. Okay. Uh, the next one is show that, and this uh, this is kind of telling you the properties of transpose of matrices. The properties, all these proofs we are doing. Transpose of a transpose of a matrix is that matrix. The second one, if you take the transpose of the addition, it is the sum of the individual transpose of the matrices. Okay, the transpose of the sum is the sum of the individual transpose. That's the second property. First property, transpose of a transpose of a matrix is the matrix. Second property, the transpose of the sum of two matrices 
is the sum of the individual transpose of the matrices. Okay? Third one, third property. The product, the transpose of the product. You know, the second one is the transpose of the sum. Transpose of the sum of two matrices is the sum of the individual transpose of the matrices. Third one, the transpose of the product, but in this case now, this is now, it's not P times T, P is not P transpose times P transpose, it's P transpose times P transpose. So let's prove this. And this, this third, this uh, third property is still by from left hand side solve, you know, right hand side solve, and then you find it. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, from left hand side, what we got, from right hand side, what we got. And see whether this property is valid or not. So from left hand side, let's find P, Q, and find the transpose. And then from right hand side, we find P transpose times P transpose. Okay. We solve this as usual. And uh, PQ first. Let's find PQ first. So PQ, uh, of course. This is 2 by 2 and this is 2 by 2. So the product PQ will also be 2 by 2. Uh, it is conformable for multiplication because the number of columns of P is equal to the number of rows of Q. Uh, and the size of the product will be number of rows of P times number of columns of Q. I did this on the video, previous videos, deal with it. So this will be uh, row by column, 1 times 3 plus uh, 3 times 2, you take a break, then 1 times negative 4 plus 3 times negative 2, you close this, then negative 2 times 3 plus negative 1 times 2, okay, then negative 2 times negative 4 plus negative 1 times negative 2. Alright, so this would be what? 1 times 3 is 3 plus 6. Uh, 1 times negative 4, negative 4 plus negative 6. Uh, negative 2 times 3, negative 6 plus negative 1 times 2, negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. I'm sorry, negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Don't mind me. Let me check it again. Negative 2 times negative 4, 8, plus negative 1 times negative 2, 2. So this is going to be what? 3 plus 6 is 9. Negative 4 minus 6 is minus 10. Right? Uh, negative 6 minus 2 is minus 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. So let's find the uh, PQ transpose will be 9, negative 8, negative 10, 10. Okay. Want to drop, I want to double check this to make sure that I am correct. Okay. So this will be. 9, negative 8, negative 10, and by row. Alright, now let's find Q transpose times P transpose. Okay? Uh, we have to erase this. So, uh, Q transpose is uh, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2. Uh, P transpose is 1, negative 2, 3, negative 1. Alright, so uh, Q transpose times P transpose. Of course, this is 2 by 2. 
2 by 2. So uh, it is conformable for multiplication. So Q transpose times P transpose will also be 2 by 2. So this will be 3 times 1 plus 2 times 3. You take a break. 3 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 1. You close. Then negative 4 times 1 plus negative 2 times 3. You take a break. Negative 4 times negative 2 plus negative 2 times negative 1. You close. Alright, so this will be what now? 3 times 1, 3 plus 6. Okay, then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus negative 2. Then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 plus negative 6. Then negative 4 times negative 2 is 8 plus 2. So this will be 9, negative 8, negative 10, 10. Yo, wow. It is the same. 9, negative 8, negative 10, 10. Right? So we now see that our left hand side is the bottom right hand side. Yeah, the bridge take concession. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's another one, the last one, but not the least. The last one, but not the least. Um, I have to raise this. Show that IQ. <laughs> This is not your intelligence question, okay? Is equal to QI equal to Q? Now, I hope you know what I means. What does I mean? What does it mean? Uh, identity matrix. We, we discussed it. We talked about it in the first video. Identity matrix. So, we only need Q. We don't need P. We only need Q. We don't need P. IQ is equal to QI equal to Q. So our Q, uh, let's, of course, our I, let's start with IQ. I is the identity matrix. In this case, it will be a 2 by 2 identity matrix. Okay? And then our Q. Uh, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2. So I Q, this is 2 by 2. 2 by 2. Uh, I Q will also be 2 by 2 because this is equal to this and then this is. So what is I Q now? I Q will be uh, 1 times 3 plus 0 times 2. Take a break. 1 times negative 4 plus 0 times negative 2, close. 0 times 3 plus 1 times 2, take a break. 0 times negative 4 plus 1 times negative 2, close. And that is going to be what now? 1 times 3, 3 plus 0. Uh, this is negative 4 plus 0. This is uh, 0 plus 2. This is 0 minus 2. So you got what? What do you got? You got 3, negative 4, 2, negative 2. The same thing as Q. Okay? IQ is equal to 3, 2 by common, negative 4, negative 2. Okay. Is that, uh, this is equal to Q, right? Now the next thing we do, let's find QI, QI, and see what we get. Okay? So when we want to find QI, I will, how, I, I taught you some, I taught you, if you want to find QI, how do you now put it? I taught you a way to put it, that our Q will come first. Our Q is the uh, 3, 2, negative 4, negative 2, and our i is the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. 
and of course our QI, of course this is a 2x2. Two two. Watch my video on matrix multiplication, please. Watch my video on matrix multiplication, and this will be 2x2. Two two. So our QI is going to be what? QI will be uh, 3 times 1 plus negative 4 times 0. You take a break. 3 times 0 plus negative 4 times 1. You close. 2 times 1 plus negative 2 times 0. You take a break. 2 times 0 plus negative 2 times 1. You close. So this will be 3 plus 0, uh, 0 minus 4, and 2 plus 0, uh, 0 minus 2. And that will be 3, 2, minus 4, minus 2. So this is the same thing as 3, 2, minus 4, minus 2. And that is equal to Q. Some folks will write your ED. No, 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 Thank you so much for listening.